we're not really talking about a return to normal and we shouldn't be. Um, so is it worth it? It would be my question. For millions of parents across the country, the school run is back on this morning and for lots, maybe most, that's an exciting prospect as it means homeschooling is no more. For a significant number though, today's the day they've been dreading as for various reasons they don't believe the schools are safe. Around a month or so ago, I got in touch with a mum from here in the southwest who fears sending her child back to school could equate to her signing off on her own death sentence. Her GP has suggested as much because she's extremely vulnerable and her child has a condition that makes socially distancing almost impossible. But the school, the government, everyone involved is insisting she ignore all that or face legal action. I've done some research and it turns out this is an issue across the country. This is their story. My mum has been in a bubble with us. She's 72 since June. Back in September, if it had just been us, I think I would have been comfortable initially, but I wasn't comfortable exposing my mum to those risks and neither would my children have been. At some point last term, I would have been concerned for all of us because the numbers were going up and it was clearly following a path of the school holidays. And I can't believe at the moment there's no mitigation in place and they're just expected to go back as they were. It just feels like history is going to repeat itself. I think everyone should have the right to choose at this point. Now, previously during the pandemic, the government has said there should be choice. And I've seen government legal documents dated the 9th of December 2020, making that very clear. They include quotes such as the ultimate decisions as to these issues are, of course, for schools and local authorities. There cannot be a one size fits all approach. School leaders will be best placed to understand the needs of their schools and a blanket rule would not be appropriate. Recently, our Westminster reporter Georgie Prodromo put these concerns to the school's minister, Nick Gibb. Education will be mandatory uh, from the 8th of March. The parents I've spoken to, they, they're desperate <laughs> for their children to go back to school. In fact, the children really want to, to get back to school. Finds are a possibility. However, uh, you know, the head teachers are sensitive people. They know uh, that, 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 that some families have a concern about the virus and what head teachers should do is talk to those families. Lucy Wenham, who you saw at the start, is a former teacher turned education lecturer at the University of Bristol. There are families who are have real worries, legitimate real worries about um, about COVID being brought back to the household. I think if a, if a parent is concerned for the health of, of a child or the health of a family member and they want to keep their children home and they're able to do that, it is very strange that we are going to find them or force them to go in. As I said at the start of this, for most people, today will be about excitement, joy, even relief. But for others, it's merely a continuation of months of stress, heartache and pain. We've heard reports from all corners that some schools are going as far as taking kids not going in off roll so their attendance figures aren't impacted. One child being uh, taken off roll and possibly not being able to get to return to a place in that school in the following academic year is, is a huge concern. And with the local education authority now, I was issued a formal notice and was told that I'd be referred to the magistrates in January. They said the only way I could get the best interests of my children, individual situation considered, would be to go to court. But based on what I was saying, that I was concerned about my mother, we'd probably lose. Over the coming weeks and months, some will insist schools are safe, others will claim they're not. The one thing we know for certain is this will continue being an issue for as long as the pandemic lasts.